In this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of coding and decoding of messages. <clears throat> so what I'd like to do here is code uh, the following message. Uh, having grown up in the Detroit area, I've been a fan of all things Detroit sports and known many different kinds of disappointment over the years. So uh, as an homage to our football team, I would like to code the message, Go Lions! Of course, we could also do something like One Pack or, you know, any of the other messages that uh, we hold dear in the greater Detroit area. Now, <clears throat> we're going to be coding this message using a 2x2 two two matrix. So when we create our message matrix and we multiply by our coding matrix, coding matrix is going to be 2x2. Two two. As such, we want to make sure that our message matrix has exactly two columns. Now, at that point, we're going to figure out how many rows it needs to have by counting the number of uh, symbols that we have in here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight total, that'll fit within a four by two. So a four by two will have eight entries, and they will all be used for go lines. Do keep in mind that the space needs to be an entry in here as well. So for our message matrix, when we create this four by two, <clears throat> we'll need to take <clears throat> each of these symbols and translate it from letter into number. So this will be based on what uh, what number in the alphabet it is. So G is the seventh letter, O is the fifteenth letter, space we'll use a zero for that, uh, L is the twelfth letter of the alphabet, I is the ninth letter of the alphabet, O is once again fifteen, N is fourteen, and S is nineteen. So we'll load these into each of these rows like so. So seven, 15, 0, 12, 9, 15, 14, 19. Cool. Then we are going to multiply our message matrix. 7, 15, 0, 12, 9, 15, 14, 19 by our coding matrix. 1, 2, 2, 3. Now with those things in mind, this can either be done by hand, or it can be done through the use of a graphing calculator. <clears throat> because I'm feeling particularly um, good this morning, let's go uh, by hand. So 1 times 7, 2 times 15, that'll be 37. And 2 times 7 is 14, plus 15 times 13, that's 45 plus 14, that'll be 59. 0 times 1 plus 12 times 2, and 0 times 2 plus 12 times 3. It's always nice multiplying when you get a little 0 in there. 1 times 9 plus 2 times 15, that'll be 39. 9 times 2 plus 3 times 15, that'll be 45 plus 18, is, uh, is, uh, 63. And we have 1 times 14 plus 2 times 19. Uh, it's 38, 48, 52, and then 2 times 14 plus 3 times 19, that's 57 plus 28, 57 plus 28, that's 15 plus 70, that'll be 85. So our coded message, once pulled back out of the matrix, will be 37, 59, <clears throat> 24, 36, 39, 63, 52, 85. So here is our coded message of Go Lions. All that we need to do is send it to a fellow football fan uh, who probably lives in the greater Detroit area because if you're not from here, you probably don't like the Lions. <clears throat> now with that in mind, I have also been informed that we have re received a message back that was coded using the, uh, using the exact same coding matrix as what we just used. So I would like to decode it. So first thing we'll need is our coded message matrix. And once again, it's going to have two columns due to the fact that we have a two by two here. Now given that it has two columns, <clears throat> we'll start loading the message one row at a time. So 1219, 3756, 812, uh, 
and 14.28. Now in addition to this we're also going to need the inverse of A. So to find the inverse of A let's go ahead and augment using the identity matrix and take it down to reduced row echelon form. We'll take negative 2 times row 1 and add it to the second row to become the new second row. Now, once again, if you wanted to use a calculator to do this, this would probably benefit the process. Negative 2 added to 2, negative 4 added to 3, negative 2 added to 0, and 0 added to 1. Then we'll take 2 times the second row, add it to the first row, go a little bit out of order here. We'll do 1, 0, uh, let's see, doing 2 of these added to that, so that'll be negative 3 and 2, and then let's go ahead and add in negative R2, that'll become the new R2, so 1 and positive 2 and negative 1. So our decoding matrix, A inverse, will be at negative 3, 2, 2, negative 1. Oh man, I'm so excited to find out what this message is. So we will take our coded message, which is 12, 19, 37, 56, 8, 12, 61, 99, 14, 28. And we're going to multiply that by our decoding matrix, negative 3, 2, 2, negative 1. Again, calculator would probably be helpful, but uh, we're, we're feeling pretty good today. So negative 36 plus 38 and 24 minus 19. Uh, negative 111 plus 112 be 1 and then 74 minus 56. We got ourselves negative 24 plus 24 and 16 minus 12. Negative 183 plus 198. I think that's a 15. And then we got uh, positive 122 minus 99. That'll be negative 42 plus uh, 56. And 28 minus 28. All right. So according to our alphanumeric code, 2 would be B, 5 is E, 1 is A, 18 is R, 0 is a space, and it's D, O, D. You know what, this was a dumb example anyway. I don't want to talk about it anymore. This is just 